Hey, it's Leon from Evolve North Coffee Roasters. Today we are checking out the Mazza grinders and just checking out some specs. Okay, so most of the Mazza grinders um, come with the with a similar interface that pretty much work the same way. Um, the main differences between the grinders are the motor, the size of the motor, and what type of burrs they're rocking with. All right, so this is the Major V and it uses flat burrs, 83 millimeter in size. While something like the Rober S uses a conical burr, which is 71 millimeter in size. So this sits inside of the top burr and while spinning, it will grind your coffee. All right, let's uh, have a look at the interface. First up, pretty cool feature. We can slide this open and it will make it super easy to clean during the day for those old grinds. Right here, we have four buttons that the barista mainly deals with, and it will be three programmable recipes and a manual button. Just maybe if you want to top up or extract less than what your recipe is set at. Here, it also shows you a number of how many times your grind has been activated. And when it needs a service, it will come up with an alert on the top right of your screen. It also gives information like time, and date. And to access the menu predominantly to change recipes, it's super easy. So press the menu button and it will give you a few selections. We're always gonna go on grind settings. Press the menu button again, dosing time, grinding, pause, and working mode. We are only interested in the dosing time. So we press menu again. And then we choose one, two, or three, depending on which one we'd like to use. So let's say I wanna change my first dose. I press okay again. I make my adjustment and I confirm. And all I have to do is go back to the home screen and it is changed. Another cool feature is just how we activate the grinder. All you need is a portafilter, filter, obviously. And all we do is slot it in and press it in when we want our coffee, like so. So there is a button here that when you press it in, it will activate your burrs and will deliver your coffee. So let's talk about grind change. Now, step one is to remove this pin or to loosen it up, which holds down our dial to not make it move. If you look here, we have a nice arrow that helps us understand how many notches or lines we are moving our dial by. As you can see, there is the standard numbers that come with most grinders and to help you understand um, which way is fine and which way is coarse. There is also another way to check it out on the Mazas, and you can see it at the top of your dial. You will have four different bubbles going from smallest to biggest. Now, if you turn your dial towards the smallest, you're making it finer. If you are turning your dial towards the biggest, you're making it coarser. 